Okay, I wanted to make a short video about our ultrasound because now since everything is uh, ultrasound guided, it's difficult for uh, the uh, physician to just do this by themselves. It's a team and this often ends up becoming the responsibility of our nursing staff and so I wanted you guys to be familiar with it. So this is our Sonosite machine and just some basics so we're all familiar with it. The power button's back here. I'm going to put it on. Even though it has a battery, it commonly goes dead, and so we should plug it in. Here's one, um, as this is booting up here, an important thing. When we do our procedures, it's common for some reason um, to wheel the ultrasound right next to us, say if I'm on the right side of the patient. But what we always want is we always want the ultrasound machine across from us because we want to make sure that wherever we have in front of us how we're working, we can look across and see the image. We don't have to look behind us. Um, so always have the ultrasound on the other side from where we are. That'll really go, that'll go over very well. So here our machine is up and then some particulars here. This wide probe here is always the probe for lines. So this uses a piezoelectric crystal and this happens to have a high frequency uh, that comes out and that's the high frequency gives it very good resolution. That's why we like it for vascular nerve structures. However, it can only go so deep because of the high resolution and the high frequency. And you can see that here, that some of the buttons I want you to know is depth. When I turn the depth, the maximum depth that this can go to is six centimeters. So on the side here, you have centimeters. Each of these little knots, one centimeter, two, three, four, five, six. And then what you'll commonly hear us say is that, oh, this structure is too deep, turn it so that the centimeters are less and you can see this over here. Um, so if I quickly show a little image here of what this would look like so I can really drive this point home, this is an important point here. Here I'm gonna look at my own IJ and there it is me collapsing it. And you can see that it's relatively small here, but if I wanted to make it bigger, if I see the six centimeters on this side, if I change the depth to come up here, it makes it bigger. And I hit some kind of button. There it's live again. I can make it bigger again by going smaller. And there it is. So it'd be much easier for me to see here at 2.7 centimeters than by doing it like this at six centimeters. So the depth button is important for us to be able to see. Now another button the important to see here is the gain. And sometimes, let's say this, I mean, my IJ is open, thank God, right? Um, I don't have a major clot in there or anything like that. But um, let's say if I had some substance in here, I can change the gain button here. I'm changing the gain right now. And as you see, as I change the gain, I'm making it lighter. I can't see my vein. Or I can turn the gain here. And as I'm turning the gain here, it makes it brighter. And so what the brightness can do is, is that if I'm doing an exam and I'm not really quite sure if there's a thrombus in here or not, I might say, hey, can you increase the gain for me? And the gain could make the inside look better uh, for me to be able to see if there's something in there or not. So that's this particular probe here. So the other probe that we use um, is the cardiac probe. So to be specific, the cardiac probe has a piezoelectric crystal inside, but this is a low frequency crystal. And since it's a low frequency crystal, the image can go much farther. It can go like 20, maybe 24 centimeters. But since you're going so far, you lose resolution. So this is used for cardiac examinations, okay? So never this probe for lines, cardiac examinations. So to change the probe, what we do is we go to transducer, and then we click the button here, switch, and then it'll go to this probe. Takes a second. And without further ado, here we go. One of the things you'll notice right off the bat is that now this is at 16 centimeters. And here, if I change my depth button again, I can go on this all the way out even more than I thought. I go with a 35 centimeters. And you can do that because it's a low frequency. Um, but commonly we start our exams off at 16. And then just to give you an idea of what it's, of what this probe is for and why you want that 16 
depth here. If I try to do a cardiac exam on myself, uh, which is rather interesting to do. I know my heart is here somewhere. There you can see something beating. It's not the image that I want. It's somewhat of a short axis view. You can see my heart beating right there. And you can get an idea of why we want a deeper probe. We want a deeper probe just basically because it's so deep here. It's about 10 centimeters or so. You wouldn't be able to get this image. Um, let me try to get a an apical view here of my heart on myself. What a challenge. Well, I'm unfortunately going to have to cancel. Maybe someone else should have should have done the cardiac exam for me for uh, for this particular part. But the takeaway of what I want of what I want you to know. Oh, there's my, actually my heart right there. So now I can actually see my heart barely. It's not a good image right ventricle, left ventricle, and you can see my septum right there. But you can see that I want the, the depth here in the 16 centimeters, because all the way back here is my pericardium, and you wouldn't be able to see everything in this image without that deep, that deep depth. Um, so I think that is the bullet points of the ultrasound machine. Um, thank you. Oh, last thing I should mention before we turn this thing off, ultrasound probe cover, it's in the back. Um, we always use this to keep everything uh, sterile. Um, and then very often in our kits, we do not have caps or flushes, and we always ask for those. Oftentimes we get the line and everything's done, and we're like, oh, caps and flushes, I forgot about it. So if you can get those ahead of time, that'd be convenient too. That's it. Thank you very much.